Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. I'm gonna be, uh, did this in the wrong order. I'm gonna be making a little bit early dinner, but that's all right. I'm gonna be making farmhouse Parmesan pasta. Found this at Winco. I believe it was, I wanna say 79 cents or 65 cents. It was on sale, I figured, why not? So, oh, all the, Pasta's, it's not in a bag, it's all loose in the box, so. And then I got to pack it to make sure not to dump that. Got a can of uh, chicken, was a dollar. It calls for uh, one and a third cup of water and two thirds of a cup of milk. I don't have any milk, so I'm just gonna use all water. It asks for some butter, so I'm gonna put some ghee in it. I picked up, a, finally got some ghee. Got the idea from Fern Dark and got some. And for dessert, I'm gonna have a little uh, little chocolate bar I found at um, Grocery Outlet. It's Schwarzenberger Extra Rich Chocolate. So that should be good. Today's hardware is I have my stainless steel spork. I have the Stanley Cook and Prep set. So comes with a lid and it has a lid for the bowl which I may or may not use probably won't to be honest I just thought I'd bring it anyway it actually comes with two bowls but I just took one out decided not to bring it and then it has a lid so you could probably you know maybe keep bugs out of it and it's got the spot here for um, yeah, you see that Obviously, you could drink out of it, I guess. And then the prep and cook set, which I really like. It's a nice set. Then I also brought my little spice kit with me. I can uh, spice up my thing. I've got some garlic powder in here. I've got some uh, mesquite flavoring. I've got some granulated garlic. The season packet usually has enough. Um, seasonings in there anyway, but I decided to throw it in there too. Alright, so we're going to get the uh, stove busted out, and we'll get to cooking. Alright. Alrighty, we'll get our water measured out. Yes, I use the measuring cup. No, I don't care about the weight. Uh, let's see, how much butter? Two tablespoons. Get our ghee. That's probably close enough. Fire up the primus. Crank it up. Alright, so the direction said to bring the butter, the milk, and the, and the water. It's milk I don't have, but to a boil. And then add the pasta. And then cook 10 minutes on low. So it's 10 after right now. Turn that down. Stirring frequently. Remove from heat, let's stand five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my chicken in as well. It's already opened. As I'm sure you guys have seen a 
can being open on video before. Just use my multi tool. Technically, I could have thrown the chicken in at the end, but you know, whatever. Cool. We got ourselves a pretty boil. Thought I'd go ahead and throw in a few seasonings. Got some uh, garlic powder or granulated garlic, I should say. With the cork on there. If I can get it out. If I can get it out. Come on. Note to self. There we got it. A little garlic. A little more garlic. I like garlic, so what do we got in here? We got Cajun. To be totally honest with you, I forgot what some of these spices were because I didn't label them. So I don't think I'm going to need salt. There's probably plenty of sodium in the mix already. I think I do have black pepper, if I'm going to put that in there. Or these packets that uh, Fernbark gave me. Thanks, Fernbark! Gotta have pepper. Although, fresh ground pepper is really the way to go. Give that a nice stir. The garlic mixed up in there. Although, fresh garlic would have been better, but I didn't think of it. I wish I remembered what these other ones were. Should have labeled them. Throw this unidentified one in. Pretty sure since I own it, I probably like it. It's my little uh, seasoning set. Really like it. Bought it from a guy on Facebook. It's like 20 bucks. It came with the little jars, I just had to fill them up myself. But it's really the way to go, because you know you might have sodium problems, or you, or you may not be able to eat a lot of sodium, or maybe you like crazy spicy food, so you like to put, you know, Carolina Reaper extract or something in there. It'll really blow your lungs out. Man, that smells good. It's been about eight minutes cooking time, so. All right, so I've been uh, frequently stirring it because it's starting to starting to get sticky on the bottom. It's probably done because a lot of the moisture is gone. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call it. And that's what she looks like. Kill the heat. lid on so no, no stuff goes flying in there and we'll wait five minutes and we'll eat I think it's time to dig into some pasta it's been yeah it's been five minutes I thought about doing this in a canteen do a little canteen cup cooking but when I was going through my cookware I realized I, it's been a while since I used my Stanley cook and prep set so, and it's, it's nice, you know, while I really like the canteen, it's nice to be able to stir something without worrying about it slopping over the sides. So let's try the pasta. Wow. I totally fern barked it. Dang. Whew. Putting the lid on, I put the lid on to keep the you know stuff from falling in it, but it really held in the heat.
Yeah, that heat was something else. Whew. Even after blowing on it for so long. So let's see, I burned my hand twice today. One on the Kelly kettle, one on the stove when I just touched the side. And then now my mouth. It's actually a little bit of redness on my hand where I touched the kettle. It doesn't hurt though. Tastes good. It's just, man, it's hot. You know, a lot of food too. I mean, that's only two cups of water. It says it makes two cups. Pretty good hearty meal for two dollars. Less than two bucks. As I dive back in for another burning. It's cooling down now. Mm. Well, enjoy my meal. You know what? Let me say that that's a good meal. There she is, all gone. It's a really good meal. And for under two dollars. I mean, even at even at full price. Cause I was at Winco uh, last Tuesday. Today is Friday. I mean, the full price was ninety-five cents. So, and the chicken was ninety-nine cents. Also from Winco. So, for under two dollars, I get a really good meal. So we're gonna try the chocolate. Hmm. This is like really nice. Smooth. I actually bought this a couple months ago. I don't, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was under a buck, like 85 cents. Yeah. I may have to look for more of these. I do like chocolate. 